Uh, good morning, Facebook friends. This is Brother Clarence. I'll come to you this morning. I want to preach a little message just for a few minutes on um, a little message that I was thinking about that uh, he became unfruitful. How does how do, how does a person become unfruitful? Well, they, they they don't abide in Christ. We don't abide in the Word as we should. We hear the Word, but we don't take it seriously or, or not full heartedly. You know, we don't we don't really put it to work in our life and practice it. That there went out a sower there in verse three, <clears throat> and uh, Je Jesus was was the. Jesus used this parable to tell how the gospel will be received uh, uh, in the world. Three truths may be uh, learned. Conversion and uh, fruitfulness depend upon how one responds to God's word. That's so true, my friend. Verse 14 there tells us that... Uh, uh, <clears throat> Tells us that a sower went at, a sower, the, the sower soweth the word. The sower soweth the word of God. You and I are sowers and we sow the word of God. And it depends on how people receive the word, uh, whether they become fruitful or unfruitful. And many do come unfruitful. I mean, you know, um, Look there, and I'm going to look at John chapter 15 there, verses 1 through 10, and that's, I'm just giving you the word like the Lord says here. I mean, I'm just read it right off the page to you. These are, the, these, these are words out there in red, John chapter 15, verses 1 through 10. Uh, let's look there for a few moments and and uh, look at that. Uh, uh, Jesus said, uh, I am the true vine. And my my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purge it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you have now ye are cleansed through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me. Number one, abide in me, Jesus said. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can you except you abide in me. If we don't abide in Christ, we don't draw nourishment from Christ, we'll wither away. That's what the scripture here tells us. A lot of people don't believe that, but whether we believe it or don't believe it, that don't change the Word of God. That doesn't change it. I am the, the vine, you are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. If we abide in him, we're going to bring forth much fruit, what the Bible says. Jesus says here in the Word of God will bring forth much fruit. For well, without me, you can do nothing. Without Jesus, we can do nothing. Our faith has got to be in Christ and what He did on Calvary to finish works of the Lord Jesus Christ is the only thing God the Father will honor. God the Holy Spirit will not honor nothing else. Our faith must be in Christ and that shed blood of the Lamb that went to Calvary and paid our sin debt in full. Our faith must be in that and rest in that wholly, completely, and abiding in Him. We must abide in Him. How, well, we got to have faith in Him. we got to have faith in what the Word said that is true. Uh, if, if, if faith is trusting in someone. Trusting. And we got to trust in Christ and what He did on Calvary to be abiding in Him. And if we don't really believe that, we're not really going to bear no good fruit. We're just going to hang around, I guess. <laughs> but truly, that's what the Scripture says here. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch 
and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. Now that's not my word, that's his word. And he said there in verse 7, If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Ask what you will, he says. There in verse 8, uh, or verse 7 rather, uh, he says, uh, Herein is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. As the Father had loved me, so have I loved you. Continue in my love. If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in His love. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. We must abide in the love of Christ. We must abide. Abide in Him. Uh, I mean, you know, after a person believes in Christ and is forgiven, uh, he or she receives eternal life. And the power, and the power to remain in Christ. Given that uh, power, the believer must then accept the responsibility in salvation and remain in Christ. Remain in Christ. We must remain in Him. We must accept that responsibility that God has given us eternal life and we must remain in Him. We can't... Uh, we can't uh, Abide if we don't abide in Him. It says right there, it told us right there in the verses we read that we must abide in Him. We must keep faith in Christ and what He did on Calvary's cross for us. You know, to be in Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to His name. We must abide in Him, keeping, keeping uh, God's Word continuously in our hearts and minds and making it the, the guide for our actions. Verse 7. Maintaining the habit of constant intimate communion with Christ in order to draw strength from Him. Verse 7. Obeying His commandments, remaining in His love. Verse 10. And loving each other. Praise God. Hallelujah. Loving one another. Walking in love. That's what we must do today. If we're going to abide in Christ. You can't have all against people and, and, and say you're in Christ because you're deceiving yourself. We can't have all in our heart against nobody. we got to forgive and, and walk in love. That's what the scripture tells us. Jesus said, uh, hallelujah, there in verse 10, uh, if you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. See, we got to abide in him. We can't abide in him if we're not walking in love. I don't care who you are, where you come from. You can say, well, you know, I'm not going to forgive old so-and-so. Well, then you, 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 that person I was talking about, uh, you're not, you're not, uh, you're not, uh, uh, bringing forth fruit. Not, uh, you're not bearing fruit. You're unfruitful. Because we cannot walk in unforgiveness. Uh, says he becometh unfruitful. That's because he fails to forgive and to walk in love. That's why we become unfruitful. We, we don't abide in Christ. We must abide in Him today. Well, this Brother Clarence, I'm going to get off of here. But I wanted to share that with you today, and hoping that I've, I've said something that will help you, that we must abide in Christ. We can't abide uh, in something else. We must Our faith must be in Christ and what He did for us on Calvary. He did it all for you and I. And all we have to do is keep our faith and trust in Him and walk in repentance, walk in love today that we will be fruitful and not unfruitful. 
of it. But if we don't, we're going to be unfruitful. If we're unfruitful, uh, we, we're surely, surely not going to be drawing life from the Son of God. We're not going to be drawing what we need from Him because we won't be abiding in Him. We'll be withering away, withering away. Think about that today. Be drying up like a tree that the root been chopped off of it. And the sun's come out. And the leaves will begin to curl up because it's getting no nourishment. It's getting no nourishment. After a while, uh, the limbs begin to fall off. I mean, because it's got getting no nourishment. But as long as we abide in Him, we're going to draw nourishment from Him. Praise God. And we're going to stay much alive in Christ Jesus. That's eternal life, my friend. It is nowhere else but in Christ. Well, you have a blessed, blessed day today. I love you. God bless you. And I hope to see you tomorrow. If I don't, I hope some glad day I'll see you in heaven. But you have a blessed day. And remember tonight, 8 o'clock, help me pray, if you will. God bless you, and I'll talk with you tomorrow. If I don't see you tomorrow, I pray some glad day I'll see you in heaven. This is Brother Clarence. I'm still in Christ, the solid rock. Nowhere else to be. <laughs> Praise God. By faith, by faith in His grace, I'll always be in Him. Praise God. Hallelujah. You have a blessed day now. I love you. Jesus loves you too. And I'll talk with you tomorrow.